Building websites on Shopify just got so much easier. If you've been curious about Shopify but felt overwhelmed, this might be your moment. It's probably time to take another look. Now that Shopify has introduced theme blocks with AI, which is absolutely groundbreaking. In this video, I'll demonstrate how theme blocks drastically simplifies building online stores on Shopify. More so, I'm going to address one of the key limitations of this feature at the moment. Currently, the AI block generation feature can only be accessed if we install the new foundation theme called Horizon. But what if we wish to use another theme or have an existing theme and still wish to experience the magic of AI blocks? you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to share a simple method that will allow us to add the AI block feature to any online store 2.0 theme like Dawn. Before the launch of theme blocks, we are highly dependent on the sections and layouts that are built into the theme that we are using on Shopify. But with theme blocks, we may actually start with a blank custom section and have access to site-wide blocks that we can place and group within the section with so much flexibility and freedom. If you've used other platforms like Wix or Squarespace, it's similar to where we can add any blank section and then we can add any of these site-wide blocks. More so, Shopify gives us the power to generate our own custom blocks using the AI generation feature. For instance, if we need to create a layout that looks like this, previously we would need to look for a section template that would correspond to exactly the same layout. But now that we have theme blocks, our build out is completely modular. So all we need to do is add three blocks, text, and two images. To demonstrate, let's go to Horizon theme, which is one of the templates that support theme blocks, and then we'll add a custom section. Within that custom section, we'll have the option to add any of these blocks. Notice how we have a lot of options and we can add them anywhere within the section. Since we need to add a text block, I'll start typing text into the search field. And then if I click this block, these settings will show up to the right, or if you have a smaller screen, then this will show up to the left of your screen. Now I can add our placeholder content, including our text, which is about us. So this will be our headline and I'll set it to be our heading too. Now proceed with adding more blocks. So I'll add a block and choose this image. I'll replace this placeholder with our actual image. Now I can proceed with adding the next image. So if I add an image again, I will just select another image from our library. Now by default, our custom section stacks our blocks in a vertical manner. If we'd like them to be horizontal, then we can switch to the horizontal direction. Now we're closer to our desired layout. This time under position, I can set their position to top so they will be aligned to the top vertically. There are so many more possibilities that are opened up by this modular way of building sections. But for now, I'd like to demonstrate how cool it is to have the AI generation feature. For instance, if instead of an image, I actually would like this third column to be a product carousel slider. If you look into the available options within our blocks, we actually have an option to add a product, including adding its price, buy buttons, and description. This allows us to pull a certain product. However, what if I wish to showcase more products using a carousel? This is the perfect opportunity for us to experience the magic of AI blocks. If I click this generate option, this generate block field will show up. Here we can proceed with describing our block in detail and in plain English. For example, I can say I'd like a product carousel slider with arrows and pagination dots. If I proceed, it will start generating. It will take a while, but you'll just see from here how magical it is. It took about five minutes on my end, and while it doesn't look exactly what I'm envisioning, it seems like we do have the functionality of a carousel slider. We have an option to add follow-up instructions. 
I should say that I only want to show one slide at a time. So I will say show one slide at a time and allow it to regenerate the code. We still have the option to add some follow-up instructions, but then it seems like the AI block just got what I've envisioned and it was smart enough to even give me an option to show product descriptions and buy buttons. So we can just save this. For this one, I'd rather hide the title and subtitle. And then I'd rather select my homepage collection. And for this one, I want to retain the three column layout. So I'll remove the other image and save this. And you'll notice that we even have the option to enable autoplay, to change the background. These options were all generated using Shopify's best practices and documentation. Notice how I even have the option to adjust the padding and the colors. I'd rather hide the product description and the product button. And what's even more powerful is that we can click this ellipsis icon and edit the code to edit the source code. So if you're familiar with code, then we have the flexibility to tweak what has been generated by the AI. What's important to note though, when working with AI tools like this, is that these tools are non-deterministic, meaning if I run the same prompts using the same AI feature, there is no guarantee that it will come up with exactly the same result. And what I discovered while exploring this AI generation feature is that we can come up with better results closer to our design vision if we are more specific with our prompts. Hence, I developed a tool where you can easily upload your design and upon upload, it will intelligently analyze the image and ask you to describe the functionality of your design. Once we answer the questions, it will automatically generate the Shopify prompt that we can easily copy and paste to our AI generator. We simply paste the result to our generate block field and then watch the magic happen. And wow, because we're so detailed with a prompt that we added to the generation block, we got pretty close. I don't think we need any follow-up instructions, but again, because this is not deterministic, we cannot guarantee the exact same output for every AI generation. If you look into the options, there are more options to us, especially in terms of styling. But what I want is actually to add our images so it's more visual. And we can see how our tabbed content switch uh, from one to the other. There are a lot more options in terms of typography and colors, but for now, it seems that we have this fading animation while we have the slide content switch which is the exact functionality that I was envisioning. Within the custom section, notice how we have the option to set the width to full. If you'd like our blocks to span the full width of the screen. I'm really happy with the functionality, even on mobile. Um, this translates so perfectly. And so I won't need to edit any of the liquid code. The most that I would do is to change the style settings that are available within the block. I would say if there are any code changes, I would only need to add CSS. And what's cooler is because of the modular nature of our blocks, if you go to any of our templates like the product template, and I'd like to add the same functionality, all I need to do is add a custom section. And within that custom section, I can access our editorial tab to content like so. And I'm able to connect these data to dynamic data, which we call meta fields, if we want to have different um, images and text per product. Now you're probably amazed at the possibilities of using theme blocks with AI. But at the moment, because Shopify just launched this feature, only the horizon theme, which is the new foundation theme, has this feature 
built in. Even the paid themes in the theme store are still not using this new architecture. Hence, if you just want to leverage the new AI block feature and still wish to use your existing theme, then you're in luck because I'll walk you through a really simple method to allow us to integrate the AI block feature to any 2.0 theme like Dawn. So for example, I have this existing site using Dawn and all we need to do is click this ellipsis icon and click edit code. We'll be led to the code editor and don't be overwhelmed. All we need to do is collapse these folders so we can easily find the sections folder. When we click the sections folder, we'll have this link or button to add a new section. I'll name this file theme blocks. Hit command A or control A on my keyboard to select the placeholder and then hit delete. Once those placeholder content is deleted, please refer to the link below this video where I share this code that you can add. We simply paste this code and hit save. Let me go back to our browser tab where we edit the theme or when we simply click this customize theme option and refresh. When we try to add a section, we can search for a theme block section right here. And notice when I add a block, I won't have a lot of block options at the moment, but I can actually generate any layout or block that we envision exactly similar to what we did earlier and be able to access any of these AI generated blocks in any page or template within the theme. This just scratches the surface of what's made possible by the new feature theme blocks with AI. If you wish to develop deep mastery and get step-by-step -step guidance on how to master Shopify AI, I'd like to invite you to my Master Shopify AI workshop where I give you access to my tools, including the theme prompt builder that I showed earlier. In the workshop, I'll also introduce essential code customization steps to further polish whatever blocks you generate using AI. For instance, how to remove this AI generated labels in these blocks and properly categorize them. I'll also introduce you to other AI native features within Shopify and how to make the most out of them. Note that the Master Shopify AI workshop will focus on AI features and will not go through coding fundamentals or Shopify basics, but if you're looking for complete guidance on how to build Shopify sites and how to offer it as a service, then I recommend checking out our standout Shopify program. The workshop is actually included in the pro version.